My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some auto hotkey. Auto hotkey is a very light but yet powerful automation scripting language for Windows. It's sort of a light RPA tool which we can use for a lot of purposes. Mainly the thing that it's free, it's light and it's very easy to use. Some of, me, some of you might think that the scripting thing, that it's script only, uh, that might, you might think that it's more, much more complicated, however, it's very easy to write the code. And by the end of the this tutorial, you will be able to write your own scripts yourself. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the new automation videos that I'll be making. With that said, let's get started. So go to autohotkey.com and click download. Take the current version, unless you have a reason not to. And you'll see here that it downloads quite fast. And that's because it's only 3 megabytes, so it's really, really light. And we like that. Take the Express uh, installation. Now it's installed. We can click Exit and close down our browser. So um, now we can think uh, that we can. Now we can think of how we can make a script. So right-click on your desktop and click New, and then we will take the Auto Hotkey script that will be here whenever you install it. So uh, now we made our first Auto Hotkey script. So let's open it. Let's run it actually, and when we can uh, run it by double clicking, so now nothing really happens, we haven't made something in there. So we'll right click and then edit script, and we're in the script. So, um, first, I think we'll make a hot, hot string that's a, a auto uh, correction. And uh, for doing that, we will first we will have to uh, choose the word that we want to auto correct, we could choose RPA. And then we will make two colons in front and two colons in the back. And then we will say, tell AutoHotKey, what do we want to change RPA to? So whenever we write RPA, we want to change it to something. That could be like robotic process automation. And then remember to um, have a return in the end. And this is our code. So save it, then uh, exit it. And now you need to double click it again to um, Update it. So now we have updated it and we can uh, go to our notepad and then we can write in uh, something like RPA and you can see that it auto corrects now. Like this, you get the point, right? So uh, let's um, right click and edit the script again. And um, we now want to make the hotkey. So this is a hot string. We will use that sometimes. However, uh, the hotkey that is when you press a combination either one or more keys on your keyboard to make the scripting tool do something for you. That is very useful. So we can uh, delete our script. Let's uh, keep the return because we'll use that. And um, the hat key could be like, uh, this is, an, the hat is an aberration for the control key. So this one will be a hat. And then remember to choose, I could choose the Q. Remember to choose a key that you're not using. So it's not very wise to uh, choose control C, that's control copy, the shortcut that uh, most of you will use. So pick a key that is not in use. Usually I only make the control um, uh, control something, but you can use a, a lot of things like the window is uh, the windows key. Uh, the, uh, this one is the alt and uh, the plus shift. So um, however, I'll mainly just use uh, the control and um, maybe sometimes control alt and then something. And then we will have two colons afterwards. So uh, what this does, it, it says that uh, this one is control, then a Q, and then we're done with the short uh, the hotkey, and then we can choose what we want to do. Say that every time we press control Q, we want to uh, write out uh, this is Anders Jensen, um, where we are in the program that we are. So remember to save it, remember to Double click it like this and click yes. It just asks us if you want to update it and we won't. So now we go to our notepad again. And if we press control Q now, you can see that it uh, writes out this is Anna Jens like this. So that's really powerful too. Let's go back to the auto hotkey script and right click it edit the script. Now we can write out message boxes. Message box is something that you'll use in a lot of programming languages. So let's see how we can do that. We will still have the control Q. You can change it if you want. Um, 
and the message box that will just be the msg box and then we can write out what we want to have in it we could say how are you for example like this and we'll click save and what this does is that every time we press Control q oh we need to run it of course and update it so whenever we press Control q uh, a message box will pop up and it will uh, ask us how we are so like this now you can both you can make a hot string you can make a hot key and you can either write text into something or you can write out a message box you'll also know uh, notice that you need to uh, double click this script whenever you uh, uh, edit it to uh, have it updated but let's edit it again you can also uh, merge uh, commands these uh, commands here and remember not to write it in the same line so you cannot write a message box and then send like this and write something here each command needs to have separate lines so we can make a combo here say that whenever we press Control q we want to um, send a um, some text so we could have this is on the Jensen. And then we can have the message box popped up, and we could probably we could say something like we could say whatever we want, but script finished like this. So again, remember to save it, uh, close it, double click it, and update it. So now that we're here, we can press Control Q, and we can see that it typed in um, this is Anna Jensen, and um, in the um, message box it says script finished uh, question mark like we uh, wrote so uh, that is really clever now we can um, we might want to open a program for example so uh, let's uh, edit it again and we can um, let us delete this one and we will just use our uh, shortcut again you can easily change it to for example uh, control E or um, Alt um, Q. However, we will use the Control Q. We can run a program. So we could either do uh, run Notepad .exe like this. Save it. Control S. You could also remember to update it. Click Yes. And then we could write uh, Control Q. You can see we open up a Notepad. Now we open one more, a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. So that's really useful as well. So now we can open a program as well. We could also uh, try to open a folder. Say that we wanna, I just have a Google Speech folder here on my desktop. I used it a couple of days ago. So uh, let's get the path of this folder. So shift, right click, then copy as path here. Then uh, we wanna edit the script again. So edit script. And um, what we'll do here is that instead of the notepad, we will just uh, type in the location of the folder. So this one will open this folder. So click Save and close it. Now we'll update it again. Click Yes. And we can try to press Control Q. And we can see that the Google Speech folder will open. So that's uh, very useful as well. We could also uh, choose to let us open the auto hotkey script again. So edit script. We could also choose to open a website. Say that I want to open uh, Google Finance, for example, and that will have the address of um, Google, maybe www. Sorry if I'm not correct here. I use it a lot, but usually I just have a shortcut. So I think this one will open Google Finance. So we're, let's see how that is done. Whenever we press Control Q, so close it and updated like this so um, we could press Control q now and we will see that a um, web page with google finance will open it's uh, it might be my internet connection that is no it's here google finance so um yeah now we can open a website as well and um so i think what we'll need to see is some um, Windows specific hotkeys or hot strings. Um, and that is, let me close this one down again. So, so let's open up the auto hotkey again to edit script. And now we wanna uh, have some Windows specific hotkey hot strings. And that is, we wanna check if um, this window is active or not. 
So right now it's active, you can see that it's black, and now it's more gray, it's not active. So it's when you click on it and you're here, it's active, and when you're out of it, it's not active. We want to check for that and only have the hotkey to work whenever we are active. So then we will um, make a line in front of this hotkey, and that will be the if window active. So if win active, like this, and then we will uh, write out the title of the window, you'll find it up here. So this could be literally anything, it could be in Excel or anything. This one will be untitled by a notepad, and what we'll do is just, I think we'll just do a message box. And we can say that, uh, yes, uh, notepad untitled is open, like this. So remember to save it, remember to double click it again, and we can run it. So now we're out of it. Control Q, nothing is really happening, you can see that. Then we'll go into Notepad, now it's active, and we got uh, the message box to open. We can uh, look at the variant uh, of this, so let's edit the hotkey script. So instead of uh, checking if the window is active or not, we will just check if it's uh, open at the computer or not. So um, what we'll do is, to, instead of active, we'll just change this to exist. Um, so this one will see if this one exists, and if it does, uh, we'll, we'll, it will tell us, yes, notepad untitled is uh, open. So uh, let's uh, check that, and uh, remember to double click it to uh, run it. And um, so right now, the untitled, there's an untitled uh, notepad open, so whenever we press Ctrl Q, it will tell us that it's open. However, let's try to close it, uh, will we save it? Probably not. Um, nothing is really happening. You can see that, Control Q, Control Q, nothing is really happening. You cannot see it, but you gotta believe me that I actually press it. So uh, that's it for the, uh, the basic uh, auto hockey uh, tutorial for today. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you like the video, and please give it a thumbs up if you find, uh, found the video useful. Have a good day, bye bye.